Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel, and in this video I will tell you a bit about the external geometry in FreeCAD. And FreeCAD is a truly free 3D CAD system in which we can create our own 3D models. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. And if you'd like to support my work and treat me to a virtual coffee, you can find all the details in the description below. Thank you for your support. And now, let's move on to a new project. We are creating a parametric part. And here we will start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. We will create a rectangle whose corner will lie at this point. Let's draw a rectangle with dimensions of 100 by 70 millimeters. OK. We have this rectangle. We close the sketch and add an extrusion of 10 millimeters. Or let's do an extrusion of 15 millimeters here and click OK. Now we will add another operation for creating 3D solids. In 3D CAD systems, we usually work in such a way that we build the solid in stages. We do one stage, then another, and so on. Sometimes, by creating relatively simple geometries and using simple operations, we can create quite a complex 3D model. Right now, we will create the next stage of this model. We will create another sketch on this face, select this face, choose Create Sketch, and we will create a circle based on which we will prepare a pocket. I would like the center of the circle to lie at this corner of the solid. We can do this in two ways. The first way is to draw a circle roughly here. As you can see, I have no snaps to the solid. I can't link this circle with this solid at this moment. I am drawing this circle in this place with a diameter of, for example, 40 millimeters. And right click to cancel this command. The circle is not connected with the solid at all. The position of the circle is not determined, so we will do it this way. I select this point, activate dimensioning, press the D key on the keyboard, and here, as the distance from the center of the circle to the origin of the coordinate system, I enter 100 millimeters, which is the length of this side of the rectangle. Then I select this point, and in this axis, I enter 70 millimeters. At this moment, the center of the circle lies at the corner of the rectangle. I close the sketch, create a pocket here with a depth of 5 millimeters, and click OK. Now everything is fine. If we want to create something like this, everything is correct. The problem arises when we need to change the dimensions of this rectangular solid. That is, we need to change the dimensions of the sketch on which this solid was based. I will now go to edit the sketch of the first operation and change this dimension to, for example, 150 millimeters. OK. We will leave this one unchanged so it will be clearly visible. I close the sketch and see what happened. The position of this circle was not linked to the corner of this rectangle, but was linked to the origin point of the coordinate system. Only in one case was the center of the circle linked with the corner of the rectangle, and that was the case when the rectangle had dimensions of 100 by 70 millimeters. If I now return to those dimensions, everything will be fine. and the center of the circle lies at the height of the corner of the rectangle. But such modeling is not entirely a good way when it comes to modeling in 3D CAD systems. 3D CAD systems are parametric systems, and we work here on features and parameters. This is really a huge advantage of 3D CAD systems. It works like this. During 3D modeling, we create a model that has parameters. Later, we can change those parameters. If a situation arises where we need to change some dimension, then, in a parametric 3D CAD system, we can do this without the need to rebuild the entire model from scratch. Simply put, if we make some model, and based on this model, we create some physical part, and it turns out that something needs to be changed, then very often such a change involves changing a single dimension, and we don't have to rebuild the entire model from scratch. But to make sense of this, we need to create the model in such a way that subsequent stages of the 3D solid are linked to the previous stages of the 3D solid, so that in case of any changes, this model does not get misaligned and the shape and relationships between geometries remain preserved. This is greatly helped by the use of external geometry. 
I will now delete this operation. I select this operation in the operations tree and press delete to remove this operation. We will leave this sketch and proceed to edit this sketch. Now I will remove these dimensions and apply external geometry here. I will link the center of this circle specifically to the corner of this rectangle and for this purpose I need to create external geometry, that is, a reference geometry to the previous stage. The command create external geometry is responsible for that. Let's choose this command and create reference geometry based on this line. Now click the right mouse button to cancel this command. And here such a line has been created in a different color. This line is a construction line of the sketch, but I can now link this point to this point, that is, the end point of this line which refers to this corner of the solid, I will link it to the center of the circle. Apply a coincidence constraint here, and now it looks just like in the previous sketch. I close the sketch, I could have left the pocket operation, but we will add a new operation here. Okay, now it looks the same as before, but I will go to edit this sketch and also edit this dimension to 150 millimeters. Okay, we close the sketch. In this case, this circle is constantly associated with this corner of the rectangle. Regardless of what dimensions this rectangle will have, this circle will always be linked to this corner of the rectangle. Now, if I go to edit this sketch, you can see that we have the link of this circle to the construction line, which is a reference geometry to this solid. I close the sketch, and now we will create another sketch. We will also create a sketch on this face. I choose Create Sketch, and here we will start by creating reference geometry. Now, to practice, we will create reference geometry based on this edge, and here we will create another geometry. Let's choose to draw a circle and link the circle to this point. Let's draw a circle here with a diameter of 15 millimeters. Okay, we close the sketch and add a pocket operation. For example, 7 millimeters to make it better visible. Click OK. And now, if I change the dimensions of this sketch, let's assume we need to change something here. For example, we'll change this dimension to 120 millimeters. Okay, and this dimension to 90 millimeters. Okay, we close the sketch and these geometries are still linked together. And this is what applying external geometry is all about. This function allows us to link the next stage of the 3D solid with the previous stage of the 3D solid so that they are connected with each other, so that in the event we make some changes, the model does not get misaligned and the shape of the model is preserved. Now still to practice, we will create another sketch on this face. I select this face, choose Create Sketch, and here I choose Create External Geometry. We will create external geometry based on this edge and based on this edge. I right click to cancel this command. And here let's choose to draw a rectangle. Let's choose the rounded rectangle and draw this rectangle roughly here with dimensions of 50 by 30 with a corner radius of 5 millimeters. I right click to cancel this command. I would like this rectangle to be placed in the center of this solid, and we will do this by creating an auxiliary point here. Choose Create Point, draw a point anywhere, right click, and we will place this point symmetrically between this point and between this point. To do this, select this point, select this point, and select this point, and then choose Symmetry Constraint. OK? And now this point lies in the center of the solid. Relative to this point, we will place this rectangle in a similar way. We select this point, select this point, and as the last geometry, select the geometry relative to which we want to apply symmetry, and choose Symmetry Constraint. Now, this rectangle lies in the center of this solid. We close the sketch, add here an extrusion of 10 millimeters, and click OK. Now, if I change the dimensions of this sketch, here I will enter, for example, 200. 
to make it clearly visible, here 120 millimeters. OK, we close the sketch and this part of the solid is still at the center of the previous part of the solid. Of course, this solid is one single solid, but we created this solid in stages and subsequent stages are linked to the previous stages. This is important in 3D modeling and this functionality is provided by external geometry in FreeCAD. We will finish here. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.